From survivor to extinction, the story of Lystrosaurus unveils the triumphs and tragedies of an ancient era. Join us as we journey through time and unravel the mysteries surrounding the rise and fall of this remarkable reptile, shedding light on the fragile nature of life's journey on our ever-evolving planet. Lystrosaurus, an enigmatic creature from the distant past, holds a remarkable status as an ancient survivor. Emerging during the Permian period, this unique reptile endured one of Earth's most devastating mass extinctions, the Permian-Triassic extinction event. Its survival through such a global crisis highlights its remarkable evolutionary success and positions Lystrosaurus as a key player in the fascinating story of life's recovery and re-emergence after mass extinction events. As a medium-sized reptile, it had a robust and barrel-shaped body adapted to endure harsh environmental conditions. Its limbs were positioned beneath its body, allowing for efficient locomotion and weight distribution. Lystrosaurus had a short, sturdy tail that provided balance and stability during movement. One of the most notable features of Lystrosaurus was its skull. It had a unique snout, elongated and equipped with a beak-like structure. This beak, composed of keratin, likely helped it grasp and manipulate vegetation, suggesting an herbivorous diet. Its teeth were simple and peg-like, suitable for grinding plant matter. In terms of size, Lystrosaurus varied depending on the species and age. Adults generally ranged from about 1 to 2 meters in length, with some reaching up to 2.5 meters. Its body was covered in thick, scaly skin, providing protection against the elements. Lystrosaurus had a high metabolic rate, indicated by its large ribcage and well-developed respiratory system. This likely allowed it to thrive in various environments, from harsh deserts to wetlands, adapting to different climatic conditions. Its ability to withstand such diverse habitats contributed to its success as a survivor. During the Permian and Triassic periods, Lystrosaurus could be found in regions that are now part of present-day continents such as Africa, Asia, and Antarctica. Its fossils have been discovered in a variety of geological formations, including floodplain deposits, river valleys, and even near coastal areas. Lystrosaurus displayed a preference for habitats with ample vegetation, such as forests, wetlands, and floodplains. These environments provided an abundant supply of plants for it to feed upon. Its sturdy physique and ability to withstand harsh conditions allow Lystrosaurus to adapt to arid and semi-arid regions, expanding its potential range of habitats. The semi-aquatic nature of Lystrosaurus is also evidenced by the discovery of its fossils in river and lake deposits. It likely spent time near water sources for feeding and possibly even for thermal regulation. The availability of water would have been crucial for its survival, especially in regions experiencing seasonal fluctuations in rainfall. In terms of lifestyle, Lystrosaurus is believed to have been primarily diurnal, meaning it was active during the daytime. It likely engaged in a sedentary or slow-moving lifestyle, characterized by a routine of feeding, resting, and seeking shelter. Lystrosaurus was likely a solitary animal, with limited evidence suggesting any significant social behaviors or complex interactions with conspecifics. The herbivorous diet of Lystrosaurus consisted mainly of plant matter, including ferns, cycads, and other vegetation abundant in its habitat. Its beak-like snout and peg-like teeth were well-suited for grinding and processing plant material, allowing it to efficiently extract nutrients. Since its first discovery in the early 20th century, Numerous Lystrosaurus fossils have been unearthed from various parts of the world, particularly from regions that were once part of the supercontinent Pangaea. Lystrosaurus, a resilient creature, played a significant role in the Triassic world as one of the most abundant and widespread land vertebrates of that era. After surviving the Permian-Triassic extinction event, it emerged as a dominant species and thrived in diverse ecosystems across different continents. During the early and middle Triassic periods, Lystrosaurus occupied a range of habitats, including floodplains, forests, and semi-arid regions. Its adaptability allowed it to inhabit various environments, from human and lush landscapes to more arid and seasonal regions. This versatility contributed to its success and widespread distribution throughout the Triassic world. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey into the world of Lystrosaurus. We hope you enjoyed this video.